What's going on everybody? It's Eli here from Treefall Studios and today I'm bringing you a brand new devlog on tilting tiles. Yes, that's right. Surprise. We're back with tilting tiles and a brand new world for DLC. Uh, I just had to go ahead and stop and start showing you guys, start recording some of this. Uh, I'm in the middle of just starting it. I'm only two or three levels in at this point and the trailer at the time of recording has not been announced. Uh, so I'm just going ahead and building everything right now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. You can see here is the Unity engine, here is the game engine. You can check out and see what it looks like in the scene view, uh, some of the stuff for the new world. And I'm basically gonna show you this level and the first level, so real quick. So you can see I've already separated this all out. I'm opening up my DLC stages and we will jump right in here uh hopefully i don't think there's any music yet yeah perfect okay so you should just hear my voice and the sound effects i think it should correctly record the screen but you're looking at a brand new world and this is a industrial world you can see there's a new texture set with rusted metal um I don't know what those little things are called uh, you see in the metal floor the word just totally slipped my mind and you can see there's metal platforms and a lever there's a new gameplay mechanic for this world there's just not new levels there's an entire new mechanic so I'll show you how that works if you slide down here and you tilt and whack the lever it will do an animation and not only will it do an animation it calls those platforms to move in so this is unbelievably complicated um, because of the way the game is coded that's why it's been taking me quite a bit to do this so I think those are pretty smooth uh, animations and in all of that you can see the lever does not have a texture on it yet it's just plain white uh, the gray material that it comes with uh, but I did texture the platforms and you can see there's some variation in them there's a plain metal and there's like a rusted metal one and then you can see the outside of the platforms they have a red rust color to them because some of the more complicated puzzles in this world are going to be featuring multiple levers with different colored platforms so you know the color coded levers will do the color coded platforms in and out and some will start in and some will Will, you'll hit them and they'll move in and out um, so basically to show you this is the tutorial level actually um, you can only play these levels after the game has been completed uh, once you get the DLC uh, so you'll know how to play and do all that stuff so this introduces you to the platforms solely um, actually it's kind of messed up because um, one second I'll just go ahead and show you in this devlog blow your mind so i have all this code here uh we want this one to start left i just changed this because the code basically originally had the um the lever always starting left and basically it would it always started right and then it animates left so all the platforms start out and then they would animate in and it would actually be doing that uh, behind the scenes during that little animation right there where the loading screen was coming through and the camera was flying down the platforms would actually be moving into position without the player knowing it uh, but I actually uh, I did it for a specific reason that way but then actually I had to change it based on some level design uh, techniques that I wanted to implement in the third level you'll see the only other level I'll show you in this devlog that I kind of wanted to um, basically start some of the levels with the uh, platforms out um, so yeah so this is how this level is going to play so it will teach you you'll go okay I see there's some stuff that I can't get and you can either tilt or you can use your diagonal but obviously part of the puzzle, if you're watching this devlog behind the scenes, this puzzle is going to be spoiled for you. So if you just wanted to peek in, see what it looks like, uh, you can hop on out and get no puzzle spoilers. That's why I'm not going to try to show too much. This might be my only devlog uh, for this world. Uh, the, the secret is to tilt because if you realize there are two platforms you must diagonal to uh, so you've only got two diagonals so in order to solve the puzzle you have to tilt instead of diagonal through it to smack the lever uh, and you have to use your doubles across this section 
Well, you don't have to. You could use them up above. Uh, doubles, you can use them in multiple areas. Um, and then basically here and now, so you can see, look at that. The platforms now have a landable zone on them. So I'll show you. I'll, I'll go ahead and jump up. This was uh, pretty tough to code, and I'll show you what happened. <laughs> I've had to change it like a bunch to get this to work. So if you go up here like this, obviously there is no platform, so you just jump right off and die. Um, so this world is basically going to have some insane puzzles between multiple levers, hitting platforms, getting on some of them, falling off of them, hitting the lever again, multiple lever situations. Uh, but yeah, so this, this puzzle itself is built on showing you how this works. And there is only one way to do this level. Basically, um, if you go one of these ways, you can't get all of the gems. And if you go the other way, then you have done it correctly. So let me show you an, the, the next level. Uh, I'm going to skip over level 60 because I already have the first three levels done. And I'm going to show you this one right here. It's actually kind of small, but um, this introduced a giant new problem in my code and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about it and that's why I started this devlog early before getting a little bit farther into this uh, world set so basically the way this game works is like you can see there's all these spots or zones let me show you in here there's all these zones all these little icons uh, those are all the places that your character can go and depending on the color it's not actually depending on the colors, depending on you know the code, but I have them color coded, uh, just so visually you can see. This is a game design trick, and um, depending on what the uh, position is, floating in space, um, that game object basically you're allowed to do a perform a certain number of options to get there so if it's just a regular space like let's say right here you're allowed to move to it right and you're allowed to double jump away from it even if it kills you as long as there's a space beside you you're allowed to you know diagonal to it and all that stuff if there's a wall in the way you are not allowed to diagonal past it typically in the main game so that code has been brought over to the lever because you know the lever is in the way and if you were able to diagonal left or right here to like these spaces uh, your character would smash right through the lever so you're not allowed to do that because that just is it's basically in the way it doesn't make any sense so there's things like that that allow you to do certain things like if you slide on ice it allows you to slide to the next spot without being able to move off of it and control your character until you get to a free space the the next regular space basically that is how this game is coded and that's how it works so for instance like off to the right here there are fall spaces and if you hit one of those then you are no longer allowed to move the player and you're sent tumbling off the cliff so i ran into an issue with this world where basically the first issue was if you hit this lever and those platforms moved and you were moving too fast, you would like get caught between two different types of moving positions, like a falling position and a regular position. So basically I have the code to where like you have to wait. If you see that little section there, you have to wait until the platforms have fully animated before you're allowed to move again. And if you want to jump right off the cliff, you can go ahead. But you're not, your character is not going to get confused because there's two spaces, two types of spaces ahead of you. Uh, so I fixed all of that, and I found that issue while I was working on level two for this world. But I did not realize or did not think about it until I made this level design that if you double jumped and smacked a lever, basically what happened originally, I'm already showing you the fixed code, um, those platforms would move your character would be confused because he thought he was on a safe space so he would not fall down the cliff because basically the way the game works is like it's useless to be running gravity the whole time and there's not even gravity running until you hit a space where you're going to kill yourself and then 
gravity takes effect pretty much uh, so basically if you double jumped through that lever you would be floating on the air and then you would be allowed to move safely back to another space and then if you tried to move back to that space you would then fall uh, so it's just a ton of stuff like that that crops up as you develop games um, things that you, you write a bunch of code and you think hey this is gonna work just fine and it does work just fine and then you start implementing a new feature like these platforms and then realize wait a minute something is wrong I don't understand what is wrong and then you gotta go figure out oh it was the code I had already written that already worked and then you gotta go figure out how do I change that code to do the same thing but also work for this situation uh, so that's what I did and now if you double jump through the lever it, it makes you wait you cannot uh, I already checked this so like basically you can't speed run your way through it you can't double jump and then try to jump really fast and without falling it forces you to wait like until the platforms are done animating and then you basically get this uh, Wile E. Coyote Looney Tunes type of animation where you uh, are holding over the air the platforms go out from under you you hold for a second and then you fly down below you to your death um, so yeah that is very exciting I think this is pretty cool uh, I'm really excited to see what you guys think of this entire new world uh, so basically there's gonna be new DLC when you can see there's new art new texture set new gameplay mechanic with these levers and moving platforms um, new music you know new particle effects new everything and I'm pretty sure actually I'm not pretty sure I am sure uh, because of the game sold so well and you guys enjoyed the game supported it and it got some pretty good reviews everyone's really enjoying it uh, to celebrate that fact we're taking some time to develop a new world and a new set of DLC levels completely for free uh, so these are gonna be coming out soon to you guys on PlayStation first I think and then it should hit Steam just a little bit after that because um, we're working on I'm building it on this PlayStation version and then I'll have to incorporate the uh, you know Steam code and achievements and you know all that stuff so it should be on PlayStation first uh, I'm pretty excited about it uh, let me know in the comments below what you think uh, if you're excited about these types of puzzles I'll go back right as I'm finishing up talking to show you I can I can show you real quick there's a this is what the puzzle looks like uh, for level 60 and you can see also you mean they're not completely done obviously you know not all the textures are even done there's not a texture on the lever and as you can see like this is just the the world art is looking like the lighting is right the fog is right you can see like the orange uh, darkens around the corners of the screen there's orange fog you're like an industrial fog I made a new wind system so these particles are flying similar to the the uh, world one but a little bit different they're being carried up like heat rises and in, in industrial levels um, you know all this texture set art is, is done and stuff there's just it's missing music a, a few textures and then you can see there's no platforms in the background to add a little bit of extra visual taste uh, so I gotta go through and you know add those and do that uh, but yeah so let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this um, if you're excited for it you you're excited for more tilting tiles DLC I really think these uh, animations are really super smooth there's gonna be some sound effects on the sliding out of the platforms to go ahead and really hammer this point home um, I think it's looking really good I also think this is really cool like the orange glow when it's blurred out on the pause screen I just think that looks really sick I also really like the pause screen when you pause it in world 2 and you can see all of the glowing um, like fireflies in the swampy world uh, that looks really cool all blurred out on the pause screen but yeah um, so that's a little bit of an insight on the how the game works give you some think uh, showing you how game design flow and and what it's like to be incrementing through code in uh, game design 
uh, for those who are more interested in learning more about game design. And I'm showing off a couple of the levels and features of the game for those of you who are interested in playing the game. Uh, so that's going to do it for this video. We got to give a shout out to all of our patrons before we move on. I need to give a personal shout out to Carmen Red, LV, Overhyped Gamer, and Nicholas Haynes. Thank you guys for what you do for Treefall Studios on Patreon.com. If you guys are interested in checking out our Patreon page, links will be in the description below. We should give you shout outs to videos, put your names in the credits to our games. Sometimes you get to do test builds early and you get to see inside uh, game development posts monthly to show you secret stuff of what we're working on like stuff like this but before everyone else gets to see it actually the patrons already knew that this dlc was coming like a week or two ago um so stuff like that and you can join for as little as one dollar a month and it really helps the studio out so if that's something you're interested in check that out below all right guys without further ado hope you're looking forward to more tilting tiles and i'll catch you in the next video